Oh yeah, what's up everybody? I'm Ollie, your real life English fluency coach. You asked for it and we've delivered. Today, you're learning English with Shawn Mendes. Whether you're part of the Mendes army or not, you can't deny that Shauna is one of the biggest pop stars today. If you watch all of this video, you're going to learn how Sean feels before he goes on stage and some useful dating expressions. But before we get started, I want to tell you that we help you learn English with your favorite celebrities, TV series and movies. Without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just ask Rowett who says that our channel is the best for improving your English. So join over 6 million learners from around the world by hitting that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. You first get on the stage and ego comes rushing in. And it goes, don't mess up. And then about 30 seconds in, you go, oh yeah, I'm just a guy and I love music. Time to surrender. So it was always a pre-sale ritual to kiss the pick and I would say whatever mantra, we do it because we love it, we do it because we love music. I imagine it's like similar feeling to jumping out of a plane to go skydiving. <laughs> first get on the stage and ego comes rushing in and it goes don't mess up get on is a common phrasal verb that usually indicates going onto something or entering a place like getting on a bus or a plane here Sean says he gets on stage meaning that he goes onto the stage to start his concert Get on can also be used as a synonym to get along and indicates that two people have a friendly relationship. For example, the twins get on just fine with their new baby brother. Shawn Mendes is Canadian, so he pronounces the T between two vowels with a soft D sound, get on, the same way Americans and Australians do. Brits, however, would pronounce it get on with a glottal T sound. Get on a plane, fly to the most beautiful place you've ever been You can't walk the streets at night, you're way too short to get on this ride Ego is a person's idea about himself or herself and how important they feel A person with a big ego has an enormous sense of self-importance and thinks the world revolves around them If something rushes in, it means that it moves at a high speed so when Sean says that ego comes rushing in, he means that his feelings of high self-esteem and importance fill him quickly. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. To mess up is to make a mistake or to handle a situation badly. Which of these phrasal verbs is another way of saying mess up? Screw up, blow up, crack up. Who keeps tabs on stupid mistakes? We all mess up, but that's just the way and then in about 30 seconds in, you go, oh yeah, I'm just a guy and I love music. Time to surrender. When he says 30 seconds in, he means 30 seconds after getting on the stage. If you use a time reference, for example, 10 minutes, with the preposition in, then you are indicating the time passed since the activity started. Example, have I missed the game? No, it's just 10 minutes in. We can use this phrase with the phrasal verb mess up. Example, the game is only five minutes in and they have messed up so many times. Surrender is to stop fighting against something. 
When you surrender to a feeling, you stop trying to control it. It also means to give something that is yours to someone else because you're forced to. If things go right, we can frame it and put you on the wall now. And it's so hard to say it, but I've been here before. And I surrender up my heart and swap it for yours now. And I'm out of sight. So it was always a pre-sale ritual to kiss the pick, and I would say whatever mantra, we do it because we love it. Rituals are the actions a person does repeatedly or on a regular basis, such as a morning ritual. For example, you could say your morning ritual is to wake up, meditate, have breakfast, and read. Musicians and other artists often have a ritual before going on stage as a way of preparing for a performance. Shawn Mendes' ritual includes kissing the pick the small piece of plastic used to strum the guitar, and saying a mantra. Mantras are words, sounds, or phrases a person repeats to express a strong belief. For some religions, like Hinduism or Buddhism, it is believed these affirmations have special spiritual power. Check out how Sean applies this not only before entering the stage, but also in his daily life. I sing with no tension. Whoa. My voice is strong and healthy. No. I went through a big phase where I used to just write this over and over again. My vocal coach actually started telling me to write manifestations in my journal, and it just changed my life. It really changed my whole world because not only are you seeing it written down on paper, but you're, you're feeling it internally every time you write the sentence. We do it because we love it. We do it because we love music. You might already know that cause is the reduced form of the word because. Although the reduced form is written with five letters, you can only hear three sounds when pronouncing it. You might even see it spelled as cos or cos when written in informal situations, such as in a WhatsApp chat. However, we must not confuse it with the verb cause, which means to make something happen. And it is pronounced as cause. Listen to me see each again. Cos, cause. Now let's listen to Sean again and practice by repeating after him. We do it because we love it. We do it because we love music. Doesn't matter cause I'm so consumed Spending all my nights reading texts from you I imagine it's like a similar feeling to jumping out of a plane to go skydiving. <laughs> Pay closer attention to how he pronounces out of a in this sentence. Feeling to jumping out of a plane to go skydiving. <laughs> to jumping out of a plane to go skydiving. <laughs> it's hard to believe that there are three words here, right? When connected, they sound almost like just one word. The T in out changed to a soft D, and the A is a schwa sound, and it's pronounced U. Uh. The schwa is a sound between A uh and E, uh, and it plays a big role in connected speech. Because words that don't contain a lot of information, such as prepositions, of, to, from, pronouns, us, her, and auxiliary verbs like are and have, are normally reduced to a schwa sound in fast speech. Look at this sentence. If you pronounce it without any features of connected speech, I have got to get you out of my head. You say word by word and all the sounds that each word contains. Now, check out how Sean pronounces it. The words to, of, and my are reduced to a schwa. Listen carefully. Needle and the bread, gotta get you out of my head. Needle and the bread. Do you struggle to understand fast speaking natives? Then I highly recommend our Fluent with Friends course. In this 48 week course, you are going to learn with the first two seasons of Friends. Every week, you will receive PDF power lessons, vocabulary memorization software, and access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. The best part is you can try it absolutely free with our three part masterclass. To try it out today, simply click up here or down in the description below. And they want to know, are you two dating? No. No. Okay. No, we're not. Now, you're saying no. Can I be honest? No. I don't believe you. No, we're really, we're really not. There's no way you haven't made out. We haven't, actually. We really, we Never? Why? No. Why? Why don't you? I mean, come on.
I mean, every time you're I try to make a move, she just like swears me off. Oh, so you have made a yeah, move? Totally. It's never gonna happen. You've done a lean in. Oh, so hang on, wait. You're saying he friend zones me. He calls me kid. <laughs> right. Wait, let's get to the bottom of this now. Oh, so no. you're saying... No, 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 we're no? actually... No, 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 we're no. just kidding. We're actually but anyway, at the end of the day, we're, I mean, we're not dating. We're just... Well, right. no, we're not. We're both we're being very defensive. What? Right? So no. No. Well. And they want to know, are you two dating? Wow. Well, no. No. OK. No, we're not. You probably know that to be dating someone means to be in a romantic relationship with that person. What's not another way of asking two people if they are dating? Are you two crushing? Are you two an item? Are you two going out? That's right, if you say two people are an item or that they're going out, it means they are romantically involved. Um, you know, it's so funny because when we first started going out. It's so weird. Like, have any of you here ever dated somebody that was your friend for a really long time? Yeah. Now you're saying no. Can I be honest? What? <laughs> I don't... The question, can I be honest, is a great conversational phrase to indicate to the other person that she or he may not like what you're going to say or ask next, but that's your real opinion. Instead of a question, you could also say, to be honest. For example, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of pop music. But I'm worried that your heart might feel the same And I have to be honest with you, baby Tell me if I'm wrong, and this is crazy Feeling hopeless, I need focus You hit me with words I never come out your mouth To be honest, I don't want to know There's no way you haven't made out we, we haven't, actually. We really, we Never? No. I, Why? Why I, don't you? In this context, make out means to intensely kiss another person. I, I mean, come on! I mean, every hot, time I try hot, to When you say a person is hot, you mean that they are sexually attractive. I mean and come on are examples of conversational fillers, also known as discourse markers. It's very natural for natives to include them in a regular conversation to indicate a pause, a transition, or hesitation. Some other common examples are like, basically, you know, right, actually, etc. Check out how naturally they come up in a conversation. How did you come up with the, uh, with the cover? I mean, you know, I was in Miami. That's where I am a lot of the time now. So I was in Miami. And... <laughs> anyway, I was at the Royal Palace for the first time, and I was like, you know, should I take a little bar of soap? Like, should I take like a little toilet? Like, just a little souvenir, you know? Yeah. Is there, yeah. Where's there a gift shop? Mastering discourse markers will help you understand fast-speaking natives. So I highly recommend you check out this lesson that we made. To watch it next, simply click up here or down in the description below. She just like swears me off. Oh, so you have made a yeah, move? Totally. It's never gonna happen. To make a move on someone is to try to seduce or engage them in a romantic way. If you don't know their story, Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello had known each other and collaborated on many projects together for many years before starting a romantic relationship. Here he said, she swears me off. Swear means to be rude or use offensive language to emphasize what you mean. At this point, Sean and Camilla hadn't been together, so she might have pushed him away if he tried to kiss her by saying something like, get the hell off of me. The truth is that he might not have tried to make a move at all based on how he refers to their relationship. <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to tell the woman that you love that you love her. And there's a, I mean, I had five years of, of fear of, of uh, getting rejected by her that, yeah. that didn't, that just stopped me from doing it every time. Oh, so right. you have made yeah, a move? Totally. It's never gonna happen. You've done a lean in. Oh, so hang on, wait. You're saying you. If you physically lean in towards a person, you get closer to them. So when James says to Sean, you've done a lean in, James is suggesting that Sean has tried to lean into Camilla to kiss her. If you ask somebody to hang on, you're asking the person to wait or stop for a short period of time. Just like James Corden used here, it's common to hear in the middle of a conversation when you want to comment on something the person has said before they change the subject or say something else. What would be an alternative to hang on in a conversation? Hold on, wait a second, not so fast.
Trick question. They are all correct. You're saying he friends zones me. He calls me kid. <laughs> right. Wait. Let's get to the bottom of this now. Oh, so no. To friend zone someone is to treat them as a friend, even though the other person would prefer a romantic relationship. Camilla is saying that Sean treats her like a friend, not a girlfriend. She gives the example that he uses the term of endearment kid with her, which is not a very romantic nickname. Look how Taylor Swift talks about it in this song about a girl who likes her best friend and supports him even though he has a girlfriend. get to the bottom is to understand the reason or solve the mystery of something. I fantasize, I call it quits. I swim with the economists and I get to the bottom of it for good. No, so no. you're saying... No, 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 no. We're no? Actually, no, 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 we're just kidding. We're... When James says, so you're saying, he does that to clarify and confirm what Sean and Camilla said before. This is a great expression to use in daily conversation when you want to clarify something you are not sure you understood well, or if you are confused about the meaning of what a person is saying. One in a million shot of finding true romance. Oh, baby, so you're saying there's a chance. If you say you're kidding right after saying something, you mean that you are joking. What school does Sean Mendez go to? I don't go to school. I graduated high school, and now I'm free. No, I'm kidding. School's awesome. Just kidding. We're but asking, anyway, we're at dating. the end of the day, we're, I mean, we're not dating. We're just well, right. no, we're not. We're both being free. You use at the end of the day to indicate there's a conclusion to a discussion after having taken all the arguments into consideration. Example, of course I'll listen to what she has to say, but at the end of the day, it's my decision. First get on the stage and ego comes rushing in. Which option is a synonym to rush in? Exit, hurry, pass. And it goes, don't mess up. And then about 30 seconds in you go, oh yeah, I'm just a guy and I love music. Time to surrender. What would be another way of saying surrender? Fight, forget, let go. So it was always a pre sale ritual to kiss the pick, and I would say whatever mantra, we do it because we love it, we do it because we love music. I imagine it's like a similar feeling to jumping out of a plane to go skydiving. <laughs> and they want to know. Are you two dating? Wow. No. No. Okay. No, we're not. Now you're saying no. Can I be honest? What? <laughs> I don't believe you. No, we're really, we're really not. There's no way you haven't made out. We, we haven't actually. We really, we Never. No. I, Why? Why I, don't I, you? I, I mean, come on. I mean, every hot, time I try hot, to make a move, she just like swears me off. Oh, so you have made a yeah, move? Totally. That's it's never gonna happen. You've done if someone makes a move on you, it means that the person wants to get intimate with you, the person wants to rob you, the person just wants to be your friend. Oh, so hang on, wait, you're saying you... He friendzones me, he calls me kid. <laughs> right, wait, let's get to the bottom of this now. Oh, so no. you're saying... No, 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 we're no? actually... No, 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 we're just kidding. We're but actually anyway, at the end of the day, we're, I mean, we're not dating. We just we're, no, we're, not. we're both we're being very defensive, what? right? What? So no. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Harry Styles is in fact British. He is one of the members of a huge band, One Direction, and he's also most recently forged a very successful solo career. Now, Harry Styles was in fact